that are, that are also user set. And if the value fits uh, inside the given range, the range that is defined, then we will continue placing the, the connection. So this new functionality to, to drive still connections by structure analysis results tightens the integration between analysis and detailing phases, helping you make better design decisions when adding steel connections to the structural model. So let's have a look at how it works. So I have, a, I have the similar frame here, but this time I, I sent this model to RSA for our analysis and you know, having all loads applied, brought some results with my, uh, together with um, load combinations. I have envelopes, uh, max envelopes, mi minimum envelopes. So as you can see, MY moments, uh, FZ moments were just displayed in the viewer. And right now in the package, next to geometrical conditions, I can also define these um, analytical conditions, right? Uh, structural analysis uh, conditions. I'm specifying my load case. In this case, uh, envelopes. Uh, I can choose, you know, different uh, types of results, define a range of forces. And if I click run, the nodes that um, met this criteria now have, they have steel connections generated. So if I increase the, the range of forces and I reuse the same selection and rerun my script, a different, another type of my connection will be added to the remaining nodes. And the previous ones were not overridden. So that's, so that's why right now here I have two different connections of the same family, right? So based on the forces that, that, were, that were brought to Revit from after analysis. And there is another uh, there is another update. Uh, this is this is really this is really cool. Um, so previously, when you when you created some some connection designs in your project, uh, you couldn't you couldn't leverage them. Uh, now the package allows Dynamo scripts to load connection types from exter external Revit files, um, enabling steel connections for Dynamo rules to, to use pre-configured connections uh, without um, relying on, on having them present in the current projects. So you may work on two projects at the same time and one detailer created connections already and we may reuse you know, these connections in other projects. So we can transfer you know, connection types, connection def definitions between, um, between different projects. Uh, you may even create an empty file, uh, so without any model, but with a bunch of you know, connections, uh, defined connection definitions, and treat, these, um, and treat this file as a, your library, right? And again, uh, a sim really simple Dynamo scripts uh, can be used to load those connection definitions into Revit environment. So you saw that uh, the model is empty. There, there are no connections defined. Right now, I'm specifying, uh, defining a file path to my library. And when I, when I click Run, I'm loading a, a bunch of you know, connections from the previous project. Uh, 